It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. In the last episode of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, Dr. Floyd and the crew were preparing to perform at the Subtle River Talent Competition. We now join Dr. Floyd and Dr. Grant in a segment that, due to time constraints, will have to be performed live. Think we'll do well at the show tomorrow, Dr. Grant? I think so, pause, but I'm a little nervous. Uh, you weren't supposed to read the word pause. Dr. Floyd, that's not one of your lines. No, I'm telling you, you don't... Later the next day, we go to the Subtle River Talent Competition, where Dr. Steve has just taken the stage to perform his tap dance on his homemade stilts. My love for you is so evil, yes, it's really just plain me. Meanwhile, backstage... When do we perform, Dr. Floyd? As soon as the paramedics take Dr. Steve away in the ambulance and they clear away the wood scrap. He sure did hit the stage hard, didn't he? I guess he's learned his lesson about homemade stilts. Dr. Grant, what's wrong with your voice? I don't know, honest. I guess it's changing. No, not now, Dr. Grant. What are we gonna do? As our heroes try and figure out what to do, let's go into the audience where Saddle River Talent Competition's special celebrity judge from MTV's Road Rule 6 Australia, Christina Pazinski, is addressing the crowd. Well, even though Dr. Steve's homemade stilts were rather uh, impressive. His soft shoe left a lot to be desired. His fall was pretty spectacular, though, so I gave him a six. And now for our final act, please welcome Dr. Floyd and the crew from the Dr. Floyd Time and Spaceship. When you reach a certain age, your voice is gonna crack. Your mom and dad make fun of you till you say. <laughs> But your brothers and your sisters write a brand new song And say they won't make fun of you and let you sing along It's a transformation, a new mutation How you sound and what you're gonna say La 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 Dee 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 La 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 Dee 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 Later that evening, we find Dr. Floyd and Dr. Grant in the rec room of the ship looking for a suitable place to display their new trophy. I think it'll look great right here above the mantle next to Mr. Beardy Chin's obedient school diploma. I guess, Dr. Floyd, but we probably should... Hello? Floyd? Mom, where are you? Why, I'm at my house. I just got back from Florida. Where's Mr. Beardy Chin? He's with us, Mom. He's fine. Oh, well, bring him home. Oh, good. We'll be right there. In mere moments, Dr. Floyd, Dr. Grant, Chips, and Mr. Beardy Chins are on the front porch of Dr. Floyd's mom's house. There you are. There you are, my little baby. Oh, sheesh, Mom. Oh, hello to you too, Floyd. Thank you for taking such good care of my little precious Beardy Chins. Oh, shucks. It was nothing. He's sort of cute. Oh, you want to come in for dinner? I'm going to make some stroganoff. No, thanks, Mom. We have to get back after Dr. Steve. Oh, okay. Well, here's a dollar for each of you for your trip. Thanks for taking such good care of my baby. Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mrs. Floyd. Now, Floyd, remember to get plenty of sleep and drink lots of juice. Yes, Mother. And always make sure you have a clean pair of underpants on. (laughs) Underpants? Oh, for crying out loud, Mom. Well, it's important to have clean underpants on. You still wear the ones with the little choo-choos on them? Choo-choos? Okay, Mom, thanks. We need to get going. Get on the ship, Dr. Grant. Choo-choos? Get on the ship. Goodbye, honey. Be safe. I love you. I love you too, Mommy. Uh, Mom. With that, Dr. Floyd ran back and gave his mother a big hug and a kiss. Then he ran back to the time and spaceship and lifted off into the time and space stream. Soon, the crew was relaxing in the early evening of time and space. This is the life, eh, Dr. Grant? Yeah, it is pretty great traveling through time, even if we are chasing an evil mastermind. Now, where's the rest of the crew? Well, Chips is up at the controls. Ensign Temporary and Flight Attendant Christy are off on their honeymoon in Niagara Falls, and that just leaves you and me. Oh, that's right. Why are you wearing that leather jacket and yellow floaty thing, Dr. Floyd. Oh, I just thought I'd go down to the pool room in the ship and practice my favorite pastime. Oh, you mean water ski jumping over that shark? Oh, yeah. We now take leave of our heroes and ponder what will happen to them next. Where will their adventures take Dr. Floyd and his crew? What dangers will they face in the future? And wait, wasn't there one more person on Dr. Floyd's ship? Oh, well, find out the answer to these questions next week on the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Hmm, I wonder what this airlock button does. Oh!